Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's so you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace, June's Path. So y'all, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now up for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel and get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos, one of it, the first of which will be a Tennis Ace video. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm Chain, you are up, and let's go. Alright. Didn't June tell you he... I really hate exercising. Yeah, I already told him that. I just hate feeling sweaty and all that. June's mom stares at him with wide open eyes. However, as quickly as her shot came, as quickly as her shot came, she flashed us another smile. Yes, I suppose you would have told him already then. Would you boys like something to drink? Milk? Maybe some tea? Yuichi san hates tea. It's true, I really do. Oh, no, not another tea hater. That sushi is already a handful. That's just because dad dad is really whiny about it. Whiny? Oh, yeah, whenever Mom brews some tea, he starts complaining about how awful the house smells and how it makes him feel sick. And he really sounds like a little kid, like throwing a tantrum. <laughs> the similarities are uncanny. You shouldn't laugh about that. You're so much like your father in many ways, you know. Uh, please don't say that. I don't complain nearly as much as he does. Your father didn't used to complain as much as he does now, either. It comes with age, darling. You're so much like your father when he was your age. It's a bit scary. No, anything but that... Oh, come on, you don't want to grow up to be like your... Oh, come on, you don't want to grow up to be like your father? God, no, he has no common sense. He does so many embarrassing things when we're out in public. And the similarities continue to pile up. June's mom shoots me a knowing, a knowing amused glance, almost as if she could read my mind. I guess she really knows him even better than he knows himself, huh? Well, in that case, should I just bring you boys some milk? Of course, milk and cookies are a match made in heaven! Well, I don't think I would go that far, but I wouldn't say no to something else to drink, though. Sorry to inconvenience you out of the blue, ma'am. Oh, don't be silly. I love having people over. Not to mention how happy it makes me to have June's friends come visit him. I was starting to worry that he had no real friends since no one had dropped by these past few days. Mom, I already told you it's nothing serious. They have no reason to come here. Actually, I told them not to come here by myself, but come here myself. It's true. He really did tell us that we didn't need to come. Well, that is no way to treat your friends. If they're worried about you, then they have every right to visit. It's only natural. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. I don't really know much of, I don't really know much about of this woman, but damn, I like her already. I'll be right back. Is something wrong? Huh? Uh, no. I was just thinking some stuff over. Are you thinking about what your mom said about you not wanting us to visit? Kinda. I don't want to be a bother to anyone. That's why I said that. I didn't even realize that me not having visitors was upsetting her. Of course it would be. What else would you? What else? Would, what else could she think when her son, when her son has been on bed rest for days and no one bothered to drop by to see him? I guess you're right. You don't guess I'm right. I am right. Yeah, yeah. Don't get cocky. Still, your mom's pretty nice. You never really talk much about your parents, so I didn't really know what to expect. Granted, I've met her before, but I was so overwhelmed by your dad at the time that I didn't really pay much attention to your mom. Yeah, dad can go a little overboard at times. As for my mom, she's really nice. She can also be strict at times, and boy, she's scary when she's angry. But most of the time, she's really sweet. It's a pretty neat its a pretty neat change of pace. I'm not really used to talking to many parents. How come? Well, my mom is always working, too. She's the kind of person that you'd call in love with the job. I haven't talked to Shuichi's mom since his parents split up years ago, and, well, Keisuke's entire family is kind of an unknown. I suppose I've talked to Sai's parents quite a few times. They're mostly normal people. Neither of them has their daughter's temper, at least. Mizuguchi san really is scary sometimes, isn't she? Yeah, tell me about it. Hmm, now that you mention it, I don't think I've ever met your mom either. Actually, I don't think I've ever been close enough close enough friends with anyone to meet their parents. Really? Even when you were a kid? I told you, I wasn't the I wasn't the most sociable person. I had a few kids I was friendly with. Most of them were my classmates, but I was never the type to go out and play and whatnot. I guess I'm also the kind of person you would call in love with the job. Although in my case, piano isn't really a job can be. With your skills, I'm sure you could do it. Second y'all, it is coffee time. If only that were true. Hmm, I can't quite put my finger on it, but I'm getting this weird vibe from June today. Is everything okay with you? For real, we haven't really talked in a couple days, outside of trading a few messages at least. Yeah, I'm fine. I just hate being cooped up in here for so long. It's almost worse than the hospital. How come? I thought you'd prefer- I thought you- I thought you'd feel better if you got arrested home. It makes me feel like an invalid. Just because of a tiny little problem, everyone is suddenly treating me like I'm made of glass. Of course, the 
Well, it's mostly with my parents, but is it not? Is it so bad not wanting to be treated differently? I really noticed he'd been he'd been thinking things like that. I suppose it's not the kind of thing I, one can notice just by looking, but still. I hope I haven't been guilty of the same. A bit. Mostly just, you've just been pampering me a lot. Lots of presents and snacks, and you might not notice it, but you're also being more soft-spoken around me. I'm sorry, I, I thought you'd like the presents. Don't get me wrong, I love them. Especially the keychain. It's one of my most prized possessions now since it's the first real gift I've ever gotten from a friend. Even if you say it was just a cheap afterthought. But at the same time, I don't know. It might just be weird. I'm not even really sure how I feel about it. I really like it, but I also feel really bad about it. I'm a mess. <laughs> Sorry, I'll try to rein it in a little. It's okay. This isn't your problem. It's my own awkwardness at fault. I'm just not good at depending on other people. I always feel like such a burden when others go out of their way for me, even though I know they're doing it because they want to and makes me it makes them happy to care for me. Like I said, I really am a mess. And being cooped up inside the house with no one to really talk to just makes me mull over those thoughts again and again. It's not healthy. Isn't your mother here? Can't you talk to her? I can't talk to her about this. I just add to the issue she has to deal with. I don't want to put another burden on her. I think you're being too self-conscious here. She's your mother. I'm sure she'd want to do whatever... whatever. She's, I'm sure she'd want to do whatever makes you feel more at ease. That's kind of what scares me. You don't know how you don't know how far my parents would go to do that. I guess I'll concede to that point. But like I said, I really am grateful for everything that you guys have been doing for me. You're also nice and caring. It kind of makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. Just don't tell anyone I said that. Oh, for sure. If Keisuke and Shuichi ever heard that line, there'd be no end to the teasing. Just thinking about it already makes my skin crawl. At least he seems like he's cheered up a little. Do you feel better being able to talk about your feelings more openly? Yeah, I feel a bit silly for talking about all this mushy stuff to you, but I really feel like I can trust you enough for that. Of course you can. We're friends, aren't we? Yeah, just friends. What was that? Oh, nothing. I just agreed with you. By the way, where's your mom? Didn't she just go to the kitchen to grab milk? Oh, I have an idea where she might be. Huh? Look at the cookie plate. There's six. So? She always makes twelve. Okay, and? Just take a good look at her lips when she comes back and you'll see. Huh? I'm sorry I took so long. I kind of lost track of time. Yuichi-san comes back with two glasses of milk. Yui-san. Yui-san comes back with two glasses of milk for us, setting them down in front of us and taking another seat. You didn't get any for yourself, ma'am? Oh, no, don't be silly. I'm not going to eat the cookies. I'm on a diet. June lightly taps my foot from under the table, shooting me a weird look. I decide to do as he says and try focusing my eyes on his mom's face, and... Is that... She has a few cookie crumbs stuck to the fur around her mouth. She didn't do what I think she did, did she? You sure you are, Mom. And I have to say, that diet really seems to be working. I can see the difference already. Really? Oh, I'm so glad. I thought I'd notice some slimming, too, but I wasn't sure and I didn't want to assume. Maybe it would be just be my brain playing tricks on me. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Eventually, we, eventually, Wee San excuses herself, claiming that she has to do some more housekeeping. Living June and I return to his bedroom. She wasn't. She wasn't really eating the cookies in secret, was she? Yes, she was. And it's pretty much taboo for Dad and I to mention this kind of thing, so we just play dumb and tell her she's been losing weight whenever she starts to starts on another one of her diets. Like you know, water time. Alrighty. Mom tends to get too excited about all these new diet fads, but she can't stick to them for more than a few days before she cracks. She still pretends to be doing them while she eats sweets in secret, though. I guess everyone in your family has a big sweet tooth, huh? That's an understatement. Having seen him snack, having seen him attack a box of Japanese sweets, I can also agree with that assessment. Actually, now that you mentioned sweets, how are the preparations for the school festival going? Huh? Um, what, if anything, does the school festival have to do with sweets? Oh! <laughs> Sorry, it's just that when you said sweets, it reminded me of Yako-san. Then when I thought about her, it reminded me of school, which reminds me... which reminded me of the school festival. Your train of thought is all over the place. I like to think outside the box. I don't think there's even a box to begin with when it comes to you. But to answer your question, the preparations are going fine. Our class is mostly finished. That's great! What have you been put in charge of? I'm not in charge of anything. I'm just helping out with the decorations, shopping, etc. Hmm, since Yako san told me the class would be opening a restaurant, I thought you'd be cooking. God, no. I like cooking for myself and for friends, but there's absolutely no way I'd cook for a huge crowd. Really? I thought you'd jump at the opportunity. The only thing that could make me jump at the opportunity of cooking for that many people would be if the alternative were to have Shuichi cook. That's a very scary alternative. One that sadly did happen. Those poor guests. 
Did the rep talk to you about what you might end up doing for the festival? A bit. She offered to let me. She offered to let me give a hand to the organization. With the organization, maybe that means we get to work together. I turned her down though. Why? My last school didn't school didn't do a festival, so I was really looking forward to doing something more involved. I was thinking of asking to work as a waiter for the restaurant. Those poor guests. Are you sure that that's the best idea for you? You'd be running up and down carrying a ton of plates and hot food for most of the night. Doesn't it sound fun? I can already imagine the chaos. Forgotten orders, spilled drinks, dropped plates. Our class's restaurant will be a bust, won't it? Too bad you won't be working at the night at the nights of the festival, though. I want to actually enjoy the festival. Go around the stalls and check everything out. I don't want to be cooped up working all night. Shifts exist, you know. You'd probably only work for one of the days. Nope, I don't want to lose even a single day. The school festival is great for relaxing and having fun. There's no way I'm going to spend it working. You're such a special snowflake. What? Nothing. You might act innocent, but at this point it's pretty obvious that you're not. I don't know what you're talking about. Sure you don't. Beware the quiet ones, that's all I'll say. Either way, we should all we should all try to get at least one free day to hang around together. That might be a bit difficult. The five of us are distributed across three different classrooms, so it'd be pretty difficult to get our schedules to sync up. Speak, your, speak for yourself. I'm free as a bird. That's because you're lazy. Potato, potato. Whatever. Hey, if the theme for the restaurant is Chinese, does that mean we'll get Chinese-styled uniforms? The girls will probably wear Chinese dresses. I have no idea what the guys will be wearing, though. Is there even a male alternative to that? Hmm, I don't know of any. I wonder if I'd look like a kung fu master with a waiter uniform. It's a waiter uniform, not a kung fu gi. Would a kung fu gi be, even be called a gi in China? Of course not. That's a Japanese word. Why would they use it in China? Well, what's it called then? Um, I have no idea. Then you can't say for sure it's not called a gi, can you? I see where you're going with your logic, but that doesn't make it right. Why not? Because they don't speak Japanese in China. How do you know? Have you ever been to China? <laughs> this whole discussion was just, was just you messing with me, wasn't it? Oh, how did you know? Ah, felines. Will your parents show up for the festival? They said they wanted to, but I wouldn't count on it. They're always so busy, especially Dad. Well, I'd imagine a cop is pretty busy most of the time. Yeah, it's really sad how little free time they have. It really makes me feel bad. Hey, it's not like it's your fault. Right. Hmm, I wonder what we're gonna do, be doing for the first few days of the festival. They haven't released the class plans yet, so I don't know what kind of sh kind of stalls will be open. So you know, water time. Do you really have to plan this kind of thing in advance? Of course! That's the only way to maximize the amount of stalls visited in the smallest amount of time. It just sounds like a big waste of brain energy. Brain energy? You know, thinking power. Thinking power? Are you sure you're really eight and you're really 19? June, don't waste those precious neurons. Huh? Exactly. In other news, I heard Kay's band is, plan is planning to perform at the festival this year. Ooh, that's exciting! Will he be on stage? Nah, he's just their manager. How come? He's a really good singer. I asked the same thing, but he didn't care to answer. He really sells himself short sometimes, huh? Agreed. I feel bad. It'd be pretty cool to see him singing with a band. Yeah, it would. I'm sure he'd wow any audience with his voice. I just wish he could have a little more confidence in himself. No matter how, mu no, no matter how much we say we like his voice, he just doesn't seem to believe it. I'm tempted to call him humble, but he's a little too extreme about it. He's like that about everything. Tennis, grades, singing... No matter how good he is, it's never enough. It's a bit annoying, to be honest. Well, don't let it get to you. Everyone has their quirks, said the quirkiest person I know. I wish I had a good singing voice. You can already play the piano super well. Why would you need to sing? Yeah, but people don't care about the piano as much as they care about good singers. After all, a piano is something, something anyone can learn with enough patience and practice. Your voice is something you're born with. You can still improve your voice. Well, yeah, sure you can, but a person that was born with an average voice can only take it so far. You'll never be truly great unless you were born great. He's really lucky in that sense. His voice is really amazing. Could it be that the happy-go-lucky tiger is jealous of someone for once? For once? I'm jealous of lots of people. I'm no saint. I'm jealous of your athleticism, for instance. That is also something you can improve on with practice. You think so, but that's not always the case. Why not? Let's just say that I'm not cut out for the sports and leave it at that. I don't know, you can't just say something so vague in the... I said we'll leave it at that. Yes, sir. Jeez, what did I do to tick him off this time? I guess he wasn't kidding when he said being cooped up here was stressful. 
All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, that notification bell, and take a look at our Patreon, y'all. It really helps out the channel. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.